We're using Rive animations with Flutter games using Flame. Flame uses the Rive animation as a Rive component, which is a position component in Flame. The previous video removed the animation from the game when a certain position has been reached. Position components in Flame also has a tappable. In this video, we'll show you how to add tappables, which is a mix-in to your Flame game, and the tappable will allow you to take an action on the Rive animation, such as removing the animation or starting the animation. We'll start off with the Flame game and use the mix-in has tappables to let the Flame game know that some of our components here will have tappables. Then in the caret component, which extends the Rive component, we're going to use this tappable. Uh, there should be no S there, which is why I'm having a bit of a problem. But it's in the flame input dot dart package, so we'll need that in either case. Input, and then go back to the mixin where we added it to the component, the Rive component, and delete the S at the end. So we can now tap on things within the Rive component. So if we tap on the Rive component, we can take an action. But I think the, the best action to take is probably to start the animation. So we're going to move the state machine controller from the flame game on load method to the, the Rive component. And managing the state machine can get increasingly more uh, complex or more fun. So we're going to start off with a pretty simple one, which is we're just going to use the state machine to uh, start the animation. The state machine controllers are from the Rive package, it's not from Flame Rive. And there's a built in uh, state machine controller type, a one shot animation. So that's what we're going to use. It's basically just going to run the animation um, just one time without any further interaction. We covered this in the previous video, but the animation one here, that's specific to this caret animation. So the one shot animation, it takes this parameter animation one, which you're going to need to use the Rive editor to get that specific string for your specific animation. We're going to connect the controller to the artboard within this caret component. So we'll just use this add controller for the connection. Since we have the state machine controller now in our component, we can then use a tap, tap down method to take an action and control the animation. Now the controller that we originally specified in the onload method of flame game is now redundant. So we're going to delete that, the original controller since we already have it in the component. We'll keep the asset loading portion when it's loading the actual animation file from our local storage in the onload method of flame game. And we'll also create the position. So we have our gathering of carrots. They're not moving, which is what we want right now because we want the animation to kick in when we take a action. So we're going to tap on it to start the animation. And there's a bunch of timing you can also put in place here just using the Rive editor. Well, we're not going to cover that. So we'll just cover when you tap it, the animation uh, would start. And you can imagine that if you're creating a some type of maybe a, a game with um, a gathering of carrots or, or zombies that you, you tap it and the thing shakes or it rotates or it moves in some way. So in the flame game, we now have this method on tap down. And this is because we added the tappable to the component, right? So it's a position component, it's a Rive component, but the Rive component extends the position component. So we have all these methods now to control interaction with the component. And one of the built in methods is this on tap down. So when you tap down, we're going to make the carrot controller active. This is active equals true is how the animation starts. The is active is built in to Rive. So that's from the Rive package. And when the controller is active, in this case, it's going to start the animation. So there's more complex animations that we can do. 
um, this is, is pretty simple just to get the base concept, just to maybe get the animation started here. I think I'm going to add another feature so that it shows off the capabilities of Flame with the Rive component. So I'm going to set it so that if you tap it again after the animation starts, the animation will be removed from the Flame game. And there's just to give you a taste to let your get your imagination going, right? But I think you can probably figure out this stage, like if you, when the animation finishes, maybe you want to remove the uh, animation or the character at that point because, I don't know, maybe it explodes and then it's gone. Or you want to chain the animations together uh, for some increasingly complex animations. But, you know, we've got this far, and so I think it's a good base for you to go off and unleash your creativity. And our gathering of carrots is diminishing. Well, this is super fun. Hope you're having a great time as well and a fantastic day. Subscribe to the channel for updates on the more than 50 videos I've made on Flame. The videos with source code are also available for free on Teachable, 100% free course. This is a hobby. In whatever way you choose to learn, make sure you have fun and unleash your creativity. Have a fantastic day.